Hello National University Academy students um, in Biology B. Um, we're going over Chapter 14, Classification of Organisms. Uh, what I'll be doing right now is going over some of the information that you will be seeing on the quiz, some of the information that you will see on your California Standardized Testing or STAR tests, and uh, some of the information that we'll be, we'll be discussing in class. Uh, and working together on in our activities online. Um, so let's begin by going over an advantage of our scientific naming system um, is that biologists can communicate regardless of their native languages and this is on page 300 of your textbook and uh, the basic biological unit in the, in the Linnaean system of classification is the species. That's on page 301 of your textbook. Protista is an example of a kingdom. Uh, examples of uh, uh, organisms within uh, the kingdom Protista are algae, amoebas, diatoms, slime molds. Um, that's, you can find uh, more information on that on page 420 even though that's not in chapter 14 and when they say slime molds they're not referring directly to teachers or lawyers well, uh, they're actually referring to the organism slime mold um, similar genera are grouped in uh, families that's on page 302 and um, so similar genera are grouped into families or, or a family a hybrid is produced from interbreeding between closely related species. You'll see mention of that on page 305. And you'll see, um, they'll give you the example of wolves and dogs, both in the genus uh, Canis, or Canis lupus for wolves. Um, and there's domesticated variety for dogs, of course. And when they're in the same um, genus, but they they can produce um, viable offspring when they get together. So interbreeding between closely related species produces a hybrid. Okay, as we move through the biological hierarchy from kingdom to species, um, organisms become more similar in appearance. You'll see mention of this on page 303 of your textbook. The correct order of the biological hierarchy from kingdom to species is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. This is on page 302. I'll read that again for you. The correct order of the biological hierarchy from kingdom to species is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. I'm going to go ahead and look over their little mnemonic device here, one that I did not learn in high school, but you might as well learn it. Um, in order to remember the eight-digit categories of classification in their proper order, it may prove useful to memorize the phrase such as do kindly pay cash or furnish, or furnish good security. I do not think this is a very good mnemonic device, but I'm going to say it again just in case I'm just faulty deliverer or have fault, um, a, poor, a poor delivery on this. Do kindly pay cash or furnish good security. Um, to remember domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. I'll come up with a better one for you. I'm sure other teachers out there have it and if you search YouTube you might find a better breakdown, a mnemonic device to uh, go through uh, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. The correct order of the biological hierarchy. Okay, we already went over that. Okay, so phylo, uh, the phylogenetic tree depicts uh, presumed evolutionary relationships based on a variety of types of evidence. And of course, this is on page 310. So what I want you to do is re read over page 310 because I'm not going to go into de detail here on the phylogenetic tree. So please read and take notes on page 310. Analogous structures perform the same function in all organisms. You can read more of that, more about that on page three, 307. 
Most multicellular um, nucleotide, uh, nucleotide autotrophs that carry the photosynthesis or that carry on photosynthesis belong to the kingdom plantae. That's on page 417. That's outside of your chapter. So uh, you might want to review that and just take a few notes. The three domain system of classification is based on molecular evidence. Uh, in 1977, Carl uh, Woos, I believe that's how you say it, pronounce his name, um, uh, put together the three domain system after realizing that there were some organisms that were closer, uh, or actually that, were, that could be di differentiated more greatly than earlier presumed. And this is because of molecular evidence. The three domain system of classification is based on molecular evidence. Which of the following is the least inclusive classification group? And of course, the least inclusive is species. Similar features evolved through convergent evolution are called analogous character, uh, character characters. Excuse me, analogous characters. I was going to say characteristics. Analogous characters. Um, you'll see this on page 307. And take note that um, the Greek origin of the word analogous uh, is, can close, is closely, can closely be translated as proportionate. Um, we can think of it as showing a likeness of something else. You know, if you're going to draw something, you need a, an image that you can draw from. And that's where this idea of analogous comes from. So similar features evolved through convergent evolution are called analogous character characters. The science of classifying living things is called taxonomy. Uh, we use a binomial nomenclature, and you can read up on this in the introduction of your chapter on page 300. The organism uh, Quercus, or Q-U-E-R-C-U-S, Phelos, P-H-E-L-L-O-S, is the member of the genus uh, Quercus, because the genus comes first. So Quercus is the genus, and Quercus is your answer. Um, make sure you look at page 308 because there you're going to see a, a cladogram. Um, it's kind of a, a stratified version of it. It goes from jaws, lungs, dry skin, hair, uh, stratification of animals. And on it you can see um, how they're related. This is called a cladogram and it's on page 308. An organism that breaks down organic matter, which it then absorbs, is in the kingdom fungi. <clears throat> or fungi. F-U-N-G-I. Uh, 19. DNA sequences are, are more similar in two sharks than they would be in a dolphin and a shark. This kind of seems um, self-evident, um, but it is one of your test it is one of the questions you will see. So DNA sequences more similar in are, are more similar in two sharks than they would be in a dolphin and a shark. And um, nearly all single-celled Eukaryotes are either uh, heterotrophic, that is, they they don't autotrophs make their own food. Heterotrophs have to get their food from someplace else, or they are photosynthetic, and they belong to the kingdom Protista, or P R O T I S T A, Protista or Protista. Um, Single-celled eukaryotes are either heterotrophic or pro, uh, photosynthetic, and they belong to the kingdom the kingdom Protista. This is, you can find this information on page 417. Please review that chart and jot down some notes on that chart. That'll cover it for this review um, of uh, chapter 14. Please call, email, Skype with your questions or concerns about this, con concerns about the class, and I'm looking forward to help help looking forward to helping you get the best grade possible in the course. And thank you for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.